recently we saw RBI decided to pay Rs 99,122 crores to the central government. Yes, it is almost 1 trillion rupees. In this video, we will see how RBI makes its earnings and how it pays to the central government. Hello guys, welcome to iExamB. This is a new series of videos, KYC, that is Know Your Concepts. In this series, we will try to bring new economic and financial concept videos. Before diving into the details of the topic, let us first see what exactly the major components of RBI's income and expenditures are. One of the major expenditures of RBI is administrative expenses. It refers to the salary of the staff and other official expenses that are occurred at all RBI offices. RBI earns returns on its foreign currency assets. This could be in the form of bonds and treasury bills of other central banks and deposits with other central banks. We all know that RBI is entrusted with the task of printing currency in India. So the expenses borne by this activity makes a big part of RBI's expenditure side. As RBI handles the borrowings of the state governments and the central government, it receives management commission from them. This is also a major part of RBI's earnings. Last but not the least, RBI receives interest on its holdings of locally rupee denominated government bonds or securities and also while lending to banks for very short tenures such as overnight. Please remember that RBI's income and expenditures are not limited to the ones we have shown here. We have taken the major ones only. Usually, RBI's incomes are much more than its expenditure. So here is a central bank that is loaded with cash. It is natural that a huge pile of cash with any central government organization will attract the attention of central government itself. It will seek the income earned by the central bank. But will the central bank pay whatever the government demands? The answer is no. RBI keeps a part of his profit as contingent risk buffer. The buffer is aimed at protecting the economy in tough times from internal as well as external risks. Let us understand this through a picture. In case of economic crisis or any kind of downfall, this CRB acts as a shield to protect the market and businesses. Did you see the happy faces? Let us now discuss the man behind this. It is none other than Bimal Jalan. In 2018, Reserve Bank constituted a committee to review the existing Economic Capital Framework or ECF. ECF is nothing but the methodology on which RBI decides how much profit to be distributed to the central government. The committee recommended that the Reserve Bank must maintain a buffer in the range of 5.5% to 6.5% of its balance sheet. Following that formula, the Reserve Bank transferred almost 1 trillion rupees to the government of India this year. To be precise, rupees 99,122 crores. And yes, it has maintained the buffer at 5.5% for the last financial year. Let us now have a look at the trend of dividend that RBI paid out to the central government in the past few years. You must have noticed that the figure for the year 2018-19 stands beyond rupees 1 trillion. Yes, it is the highest ever. I hope you got to learn a few things from this session. If you have, then please like this video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates whenever we bring more such informative videos. This is Amit signing off.